Hi Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your December mid-month reading, December 15th through the 31st, 2017, for the sign of Aries. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. Now, this is not a private reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. I will focus this camera in once I have the cards laid out, and I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Look at that heart right in the middle of the reading. Isn't that beautiful? It really is. Okay, so that's that's really good. Okay, that happens to be the lover's card, by the way. Um, and I just have to let you know right off the bat that this looks like it's a it's a happy end of the month. Okay, there could be a, a reconciliation, a reunion, um, or just a union period between two people. You know, um, a coming together that is is quite beautiful. All right. Um, it could be with a, an Aries, another Aries, or a Leo or a Sagittarius. We have Aries Leo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius up here as well. And when we have the King and Queen of the same suit in any reading, you know, and it doesn't matter what suit it is, say, even if this was the King and Queen of Pentacles, I would tell you this. Okay, there's like, if you're with somebody now, or you're getting together with somebody, or, you know, um, you're meeting up with somebody, this, there's a potential that this person could be your soulmate. Okay, there's like a soulmate connection here with the lover's card and the king and queen of the same suit. Okay, so there is definitely a soulmate connection for some of you. I feel like um, a cycle is ending and it was a cycle that needed to end that could probably bring you together with this soulmate. This lover's card represents a decision, a, a choice regarding love. Do you, do you stay where you're at or do you move on? You know, it's usually an unexpected choice in love when the lovers comes up. It means that there's a decision to be made and pay, be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice, okay? It's a union. It's, it's a union in love where typically the lover's card comes out and it says, okay, you, you thought that this one was the one, okay? You thought, you thought this one was the one, but it turns out it's not. It's somebody else, okay? So that's typically what it means, you know? And I see consequences here a couple different times, so I really want you to pay attention about the choices that you make. The Seven of Cups is also about consequences, and it's also about confusion and choices. So do you choose to uh, stay stuck? Or do you choose to move on? Do you choose to stay in the past or you do you choose to move to the future? Do you choose love or do you choose possessions? Do you choose, you know, that's what I mean. And there's all different kinds of things I could name off. But this in particular is a decision that needs to be made. Are you going to choose something tangible or intangible? Okay, that's what the choice is here, basically. There is a choice to be made, okay? And I think that you're leaning towards a choice that is more loving, more compassionate, more um, aligned with love, okay? That's what I see. I feel like you're finally being called to take action, and you're ready. You're ready. I see an exciting new discovery where... You know, you're accepting the dare, you're you're climbing up those stairs and you're you're heading out. You're heading out into the unknown, okay? I see that you're feeling very free spirited at the end of the month. It's like you're a free spirit. 
um, I see a spiritual breakthrough for somebody who is watching this. It's like they are just um, ascending, okay? They're ascending to a new life, all right? I see that action is absolutely being taken at the end of this month, and it looks like there's some kind of... Uh, there's a completion here, a completion of a cycle. Perhaps you're moving, you're moving home, or you're planning a move, okay? Some kind of change in your home is is upon you, all right? I feel like you're, you're where you've been feeling alone and you've been feeling like there was nothing to be grateful for. I think that's going away. I think that the ultimate happiness is like right in front of you. So congratulations. It looks really good. I feel like, you know, there's no more um, being stuck in a situation. All right. I see that many of you have moved on. And because of that, there is probably an influx of love coming your way. All right. It feels like a door is closing that needed to close. And because that door is closing, it's bringing you to closer to your life's purpose. Nine, nine, nine. Nines are about closure. When you see nine, 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 it means that it is a sign to move on. So if you are considering moving on, the answer is absolutely yes. Okay? Your thoughts are clear. All right? You know what you need to do. Just do it. It's a sign to move on. That's all there is to it. Um, the high priestess up in there in the corner tells me that there is something that is about to be revealed. You've seen this coming for a while. Your intuition is on on par. You know, you know exactly what's going on. Um, there's no secrets to be had because it's like you have been drifting in and out of uh, reality back and forth. You know, that's what I see. It's like you've been a dreamer and you've been really... Um, like manifesting okay you've it's like oh what is the word for it you know you have been going in and out of this area of your life back and forth like from one world to the other it's, it's like you're you're ready you've been experiencing things thoughts feelings that you've never experienced before and it's really waking you up that's what i'm trying to say but i know there's a word for it but my mind has gone blank and um but anyway i think that the feeling you've you've you had been feeling at a loss but i think that time is over i think happiness alignment bliss um, is absolutely here at the end of the month. It looks like you're moving to a much, much better spot. And I don't think that you are going to be alone, okay? I see some, like, an ultimate love waiting for you, okay? An ultimate love. Like, there's a lot of light. You see the light, okay? And I think that you are going to see the light, okay? The light is coming for you, whereas... You know, there's there's a reunion of love. And this could be somebody that you've known in the past. Somebody that you don't even have to have dated them, okay? It could be somebody you're with now. This lover's card can mean so many things. But generally, it's a... It's a love that you're that's you're not thinking about right now that you're you know what i mean it's a new love genuinely or it can be a reconciliation reconciliation or a renewal of some sort it can be many different things but i tend to think this is a new love um that that you've been the love of your life that you've been waiting for that's what i, I think because we have you right here or here we have the king and queen of wands which was which does represent aries and, you know, I think there's a soulmate connection here for somebody that they're moving to towards, okay? And they're, what the thing is, what's helping them to get there is that they're closing a door. A door is being closed that no longer serves them. I mean, there's closure here. It is time to move on. And when you take that step, new doors open, all right? Um, I think that you're seeing everything very, very clearly. Okay? Trust your intuition. The script has already been written. Okay? There's something that is meant to be that is coming about at the end of December. 
So I'm going to tell you who we're dealing with. Um, we have a Gemini. We have Aries. And, and, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So many of you, you know, what's connected to this, this lover's card is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So I tend to think that, uh, that this new love that you don't know about yet, or you may know about, I don't know, is another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The door that is closing could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? I feel like there's, there is definitely some excitement that is coming. There's an exciting new discovery, and I think that you are heading up those stairs. I think you've seen this coming for a while it's not like you didn't see this coming I think you did there's a lot of light okay if you notice the Sun and you notice the light around the star I see that it's like you see the light freedom the time is now there's another nine because you needed to have that freedom. This is about personal freedom, but it's about freeing yourself. And that's exactly what's going on. Many of you have decided to walk out of this situation. I will free myself. I will not be stuck here. I am. I, I have to go to where the light is. You know, I have to shine. I have to uh, step outside of my comfort zone and do what's right for me. And I think towards the end of... This month, you are seriously freeing yourself from something. You know, there's no longer putting effort into something that doesn't serve you. It's like, I'm done fighting for this. I'm done. There's no need for me to put effort into something that, you know, that's, that's this difficult. Okay? It's this difficult. I just don't need to do this anymore. And I feel like many of you are, are done putting effort into something that has no growth. You know, and... You know, it feels like you're just letting go of the need to control. You've decided, you know what, I'm not going to control this situation anymore. I'm going to let it go, and I'm going to see what happens. And when you do let go, that's when everything falls into place. I feel like your ultimate wish will be fulfilled, and part of the lesson was to let go, okay? You definitely are probably reuniting or uniting for the first time with a soulmate. Now we have the king and queen of, of pentacles. And I think I said that earlier, didn't I? We had the king and queen of wands, but we had the king and queen of pentacles. I think I said mentioned them people at the beginning of the reading. I can't remember. Because once I do my readings and the stuff comes out of my mouth, I let it go instantly. But anyway, um, I'm pretty certain that I mentioned them. But anyway, there's definitely a soulmate connection here. Okay, there is. And there's a feeling of... You know, I, I I can't fight anymore. I'm not gonna fight. There's there, there's like a a lethargy kind of feeling. Like I I can't do this anymore. I give up. I give up. Okay, and that's what it is. I see like you're giving up the fight and moving on. You're moving on to the ultimate wish fulfillment, and you're taking action. Um, you're just letting go. You're just you're no longer fighting for it. It's like I'm letting go. I feel like the end of this month is about letting go. No more holding on. I can't remember what I did in the other reading for cards because, you know, like I said, when I do a reading, it go, goes goes right away. But I think it was these two cards. So I think it was this Archangel Michael deck and the Angel Guidance. So I'm going to pull one of those. Oh, boy. Take a look at that. That is meant to be. This is what's happening. You're moving forward. And congratulations because I see a lot of love is coming your way. A lot of it. I see love is headed in your direction. True love. True love. A soulmate. Ooh. Big cards for you. These are... These are amazing right here. There's nothing to worry about. You are safe. 
in this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to you and through you. There's really nothing to worry about. Keep going. Go. Okay? You're safe. Go forward fearlessly. From Archangel Michael, my prayer. Thank you for walking with me every step of the way. For holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage, and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. You're on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing. Whatever decisions you've been making, whatever your intuition has been telling you, whatever you've been daydreaming about, whatever you've been seeing, you know, in your third eye or whatever, in your gut or in your head or in your thoughts or, you know, dreaming about, you're headed in the right direction. Do not doubt yourself in any way. Go forward fearlessly. Have no fear. Have no fear. You're headed in the right direction towards the ultimate love. Don't give up. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Step into happiness fearlessly. I think the struggle is just about over. Aries, talk to you later.